Hey my loves, I'm back with another video. <laughs> hey you guys, it's your girl Adora Christiana. I'm back with another vlog today. Today is Wednesday, October 11th. It is like about 12.30 right now. I'm currently at my dad's house. If you're an OG and you watch some of my first vlogs, you are a little bit familiar with this room. But nowadays it's more so like my filming studio that's my setup over there right in front of my bed so yeah i come here to film my little makeup videos and my get dressed with me's and all that kind of stuff so if you are wondering but yeah this is my setup right here my little blank canvas background i set up the lights and everything and you know we transform it you know how it is yeah in case anyone was wondering this is my dad's house i live with my mom right now and you never know in the next few months i might be living here like it's just a back and forth and i feel so blessed to say that i have two places to call home as you can see i just finished filming a makeup video i had put my contacts in and did a if i was in twilight kind of vibe makeup so yeah i have like this dark makeup and i had a vibrant purple lip which i ate off most of the color <laughs> with my breakfast so yeah your girl's face is beat but i'm about to get my day started on the outside now i want to go grocery shopping go to the park and i want to start brainstorming some outfits for the next few weeks for pictures and content and just all that kind of stuff so that's really the plan for right now i'm about to just go hop in the car and head to the grocery store so let's just see where this week takes us you guys friday i don't necessarily have plans on saturday frank and i are supposed to be hanging out maybe doing some fall festive stuff so yeah just hang with me and see where this week takes us regardless it's gonna be a great week just like today is going to be a great day let's get it i want to play music right now i have a certain gospel song in my head but my adapter for my aux broke i mean i've had it for like ooh, i guess like three years now as long as i've had my car and honey yeah she yeah, she croaked on me i brought my speaker that i use in the house like even that's not working right i'm just like yo like i need the tunes but <sighs> i pulled out of my driveway and i was thinking about chandler because i miss her she's in houston if you haven't watched some of my recent vlogs my friend chandler moved to houston about two weeks ago yeah i miss her y'all like she's like my first real friend i have to say like if you don't know my backstory i grew up having acquaintances your girl was the acquaintance queen but i never actually had friends because no one really understood me no one was on my level i think just as a kid i was ahead of my time i was a little bit more mature so like i didn't really have people to relate to me so i was just nice to everybody because that's just how god made me and you know we was cool i was on a cheer team a cross team we was in class busting it up but i never really had like close friends i had friends because of my sisters because they had friends you know so that's really my backstory with friendships y'all like i'm just now in this new place where i'm so open to making connections and everything and i've been mentioning how much community means to me but that's just part of my transitional transformational progress as the becoming woman that i am so yeah i miss chandler and it was funny because as soon as i opened my phone she had slid up on my story just telling me have a good day or whatever and I just love that because I be feeling like her and I are aligned and we both just agree that like God really did put us together so yeah I miss my girl but just knowing that I got that message from her as soon as I opened my phone thinking about her like yeah she thinking about me too like but don't get it twisted because I'm going to Houston as soon as possible bro I've been trying to decide where I want to go for my birthday in January and like obviously Houston is on the list just because Channy's there oh <sighs> and i wanted to go there anyway for real for real. i really did want to go there anyway but now it's like i have a reason to go i have someone to stay with and all that good stuff but i'm really thinking florida i don't know why i don't really know why god's calling me to go to florida but i just keep asking him to confirm with me like 
where am I going? What are we doing? Because I'm definitely not staying here for my birthday. But yeah, I miss my Cheney baby. But she's having a ball in Houston. So I know by the time I go, she's going to be so acquainted with the area and what's good, what's fun. We're going to have a time. But I think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to wait it out until the spring, maybe. We'll see. But I just got to the store. We're about to go in. And I want to grab everything as quick as possible. I just don't like the store. Like, it used to give me anxiety. Now it doesn't give me anxiety. But it just is inconvenient. You know what I'm saying? And I understand why people be using Instacart and all that stuff now. Because, girl, honey, I ain't trying to. I'm not trying to go in here right now. But we're going to do it. I'm going to try and bust it out in 30 minutes. I got a list. I know this shop right. So I know where everything is. Let's get it done. to be thankful for all your blessings. Don't let me waste my life worrying about things that only you can control. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you to free me from worry. Amen. This weather is so flip-floppy. I don't know whether to zip this up, take this off my shoulders, take it off completely. Like, cha. I just finished journaling and reading my devotional book. I wanna do some Bible study. Because y'all, I've been saying I want to do Bible study, but I never complete it or execute it the way that I really intend to, the way that I see it in my mind. So I actually want to do some Bible study. I've been setting a rule for myself where before I start any of my fiction books, I need to read at least one chapter of a book in the Bible. Just trying to find a way to really fit it in to my daily routine instead of doing it once a week twice a week every time i hear other christian people talk the way they just spit scripture off the dome it's just really inspiring for me because i'm like 
wait so i can get like that like it comes to a point where you know the word so well that it just sits in the front of your brain like that where you can just recite it that's something that would be fulfilling for me to be able to just keep his word with me all the time without needing a phone or a physical bible like yeah i'm actually gonna do some real bible study today the past two nights before i started reading a court of thorns and roses i did exactly what i said i would do i took out my phone i pulled up a chapter and i just read down the chapter i don't have to read a whole book of the bible but just read a chapter of something there's always gems in every single one so i highlighted through anything that stuck out to me so when i hop into my bible study i will already have some things that i want to study and really interpret for myself and see how it aligns with my walk the chapter that i started reading was called thessaloni thessalonians if i'm saying it right yeah thessalonians it was two thessalonians chapter one so i read chapter one and i read chapter two the past two days so i'm gonna reread them and pull out any additional verses that stand out to me and just dive into them like period that's really one of my goals for the next like few weeks few months i really want to start reading the bible and implanting it on my heart so that i can actually remember the verses and like i said just carry the word with me it's something that i just inspire to do so i'm gonna do that other than that i really was just asking god in my journal to make sure that i remain humbled because i can feel this shift happening right now where everything is just kind of aligning i'm in this period of stillness right now i'm sure it's all for a reason i'm sure there's things he needs me to reflect on there's things i still need to work on perspectives that i need to fine tune things like that like really just making sure my heart is postured in the right way so that anything that he's bringing to me i'm prepared for i was just asking him to keep me humble and strengthen my mind because i know with being a content creator there's a lot of negativity that can come with it um a lot of you know backlash and just scrutiny you know so just asking him to strengthen my mind also just tell me what it is that he needs me to be learning right now so that i can really dive into that and be present in that so that i can be making note of the changes that need to be made i know i'm not perfect even though i'm in a good space there's more to be done because I don't know what's to come, only he does. I'm really just trusting him to get back to me on that and just let me know what kind of work I need to be doing in this phase of stillness and just reflection and applying everything that I've been working toward and preparing for. So I'm just really excited about what he has set up for me. But in the meantime, I still wanna be doing my inner work and making sure that I'm asking him, what is it that you need me to be doing right now? Like I know I've already done a lot of preparation and have been intentional about a lot of the things that I've been doing in my life, but that's all for a reason and I don't want to think that this is just the end because I checked some things off my list you know there's definitely more to come for me and my life as a whole so yeah I'm just waiting on him to get back to me about that I'm gonna do some bible study and just enjoy being out here this weather is very bipolar but I'm not I'm not mad at it like I came out here in a whole sweatsuit bro I could have worn shorts and this tank top like what oh yeah but I wanted to tell y'all so the reason why I feel like things are aligning for me not that they haven't always been i've always trusted that god is doing his thing with me but i can just blatantly see now that i'm more in tune with god and jesus just the way that things are flowing right so i've been vlogging for about a year now not consistently but for a year nonetheless so i'm in the store y'all saw like i took y'all in the store with me and people are just asking me, oh, like, do you have a YouTube channel? Are you a vlogger? Like this and that and the third. And I'm just like, wow, as long as I've been doing this for this year, not that that's that long, but relatively, people never asked me that. They would never say anything to me about my camera, what I was doing and why I was doing it. Even in DC, that happened to me a few times. I was just like, huh? Like, okay. But I realized that that is one probably because i've become more confident in having my camera out in public so i actually be holding it straight up like it'd be dang near right in front of my face and i'm just capturing everything through my eyes i think i've just become more confident in filming in public i'm still working on it obviously but 
I'm moving in the right direction. But I also feel like it's saying a lot about where God is taking me. I feel like it's also a sign of like affirmation. I feel like he's affirming me and saying like, yes, what you're doing is being noticed now because you're doing it with the right heart posture. You're doing it with the right inner work that's been done. You're doing it with me at the center of it all. Like, you know, I feel like I'm kind of getting a sense of reward, recognition for the way that I'm going about things and the way that I've been persistent and the way that my heart is really in it and I'm not doing it for any other reason other than following a passion, a dream of mine. I know that's something that seems so like trivial and like, oh, she's just making a big deal out of one little thing, but it's like you really have to read between the lines and like once you have a certain connection with God, it's like you know when certain things are of him and little things like that are something that I take note of like okay like people are asking me about my channel looking me up asking me you know what I do what kind of content do I make like people are just as intrigued about what I'm doing as I am doing it and I just feel like that says a lot so again I'm just curious to see what he has in store for me but nonetheless I'm gonna keep going because I'm at a point in my life and my content career where everything that I'm doing I'm at a point in it where I feel that if I were to take my last breath tomorrow, I would feel fulfilled. I would feel like, wow, like I really chased after something that means so much to me, something that's been in my heart for as long as I can remember, whether I knew what it was vividly or if I just had a notion of what my passion was. I became aware of it, I tapped into it, and I chased it. And I did it with God at the center. I couldn't ask for anything more. I just feel so content and at peace. This little community that I'm building with my content on every platform, it is little now, but it means so much to me that when it becomes a big community, like bigger than I could ever fathom, it's just going to feel like like euphoria wow this is all a dream like i chased my dream just to feel like i'm still living in one like i, I don't even know how to describe it y'all saying all that to say i'm so grateful i feel so aligned with my destiny i feel in tune with god and i only want to get closer to each of those things so with that being said, I'm going to do some Bible study and I'm going to catch up with y'all probably when I'm picking out some outfits and trying some stuff on or maybe um, on Friday when I'm up in Adam and figuring out what I'm going to do for the day. So talk to y'all later. It's bright. Oh, Nelly. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, my babies. Hey. Ooh. <laughs> it's about 3 p.m. right now. When I woke up, I set the scene for the day, did my journaling, started editing some footage from earlier this week. 
I had to bust it out. I had to bust it out. I was answering emails and just doing back end stuff, like getting my next video ready to be uploaded and all that kind of fun stuff. Fun. Fun. No, actually, I'm feeling really guilty about not being out there taking my pictures. Sorry, y'all. I don't mean to yell. <sighs> I genuinely feel guilty for not using today as a content day. I mentioned in my last vlog that every Friday is my content day. I film my makeup video. I do my hair different. I style an outfit and film a get dressed with me. And then I literally head out and go take my pictures. Like that's usually what my Fridays look like. It's an off day. It's a content day. For a few reasons today, I decided that is not what I'm going to be doing with my day. I really didn't want to change this wig because it's still holding up well. Like for a straight wig, it has not gotten super groovy or anything this is straight out of the bonnet I haven't straightened it or anything and I'm like whoa lace is laying honey like you know what I mean so I'm like I really don't want to take it off and also the next outfit that I'm planning in my head does not go with this wig so I'm like trying to be patient and just wait for me to decide to change my hair to do my content day so i think this upcoming wednesday i'll do that and i'll probably take y'all with me for like my shoot and everything i'm thinking about that let me know if y'all want to be more included in like the content creation aspect of my life and i'll work something out for y'all honestly i'm just trying to figure my life out i'm trying to figure out what this new schedule that i have is because now that i'm vlogging editing takes up a big huge chunk of my time and so i have to figure out how to allocate my time use it effectively and wisely so that i'm still doing other things that i intend to do in my life with that being said yeah y'all i'm here i'm in the house today and now that i've basically checked off everything on the list for my things to do we love that we love that hold on let me get my phone Whew. let's see here today's to do journal edit vlog put stuff away add description to next upload so now i only have like two but really three more things to do so i want to try on these outfits that i'm about to get into oh girl girl ah, wait just hold on and then I need to edit some pictures and edit a makeup real short whatever just edit some short form content i'm on a roll y'all it's four o'clock i'm about to be sitting pretty in the bed by eight <laughs> but i just want to wrap up my rant by saying that i have been praying to god to just make my heart open to change and whatever that means i've been trying not to be so hard on myself and give myself grace and telling myself not to feel guilty for not following this so-called schedule for my content day because at the end of the day my life is about to change like let me just claim it you know what i'm saying my life is about to change so if i can't accept that i have other priorities above creating content today it's not like that's always going to be the case but i have to accept the fact that there are some things that are going to be a priority above the fun stuff for content there are back end things that have to be done and that is okay. It's not like I'm not holding myself accountable. And now that I haven't done it today, I'm never going to do it. Like, no, I'm excited to do it. I'd rather be doing it. But again, things are changing. The priorities are prioritizing, baby. Oh, and I also been praying to him about remaining humble. <laughs> because I know that my platform is just it's gonna grow like i don't know when but baby i just know it is and i need to be grounded in myself before that happens and while it's happening not that i'm not humble now but i just really want to keep sight of who i am like i'm always going to be adored the human that god made me just because i get followers or brand deals and whatever doesn't make me this different person like i'm always gonna be me with that prayer asking him you know to keep me humble this man gave me some people <laughs> i've lived with breakouts like all my life as long as i can remember being a teenager and up into my 20s to this day but the past like two months my skin has been glowing it has been clear i've had minimal 
breakouts i feel like it has to do with a lot of things with my newfound spirituality just getting closer to god and feeling this peace it's like i don't have as much stress on me i don't have as much anxiety on me so that's been keeping my skin so clear and i swear i have this spiritual glow lately i mentioned in my last vlog i've just naturally been eating whole foods that's what i'm gravitating to it was like one week i was just craving everything fresh i didn't want pizza i didn't want mac and cheese like my favorite things i just wanted something fresh in my mouth in my esophagus in my body ever since then i have not stopped every time i go to the grocery store like everything is super fresh minimal ingredients i basically live in the produce section and i love that for me like wow grown woman status like <laughs> But I'm also pretty sure that that is what is causing me to break out too. Like I have one coming up right here. I have one on my chin coming up. I notice every time I change my diet, my body reacts. And if it's not a breakout, it's a irregular period. Like my period will just like be doing random things until my body adjusts and say, okay, like this is our new way of being. Like this is what she's finna be consuming the first like two weeks i was good then i went to dc and i ate kind of bad you know what i'm saying and i was drinking and i was smoking and stuff when i came back from dc my skin was looking scary now i'm back and it's been two weeks and i'm eating clean again it was clear for like a week week and a half and now here we are in week two and yeah my body is yeah it's like girl what, what's what's what are we doing how are we doing it Huh. I'm gonna take this with a grain of salt and I'm just gonna pray that this is all part of my prayer and humbling me and that I'm gonna come back out on top with my skin because I'm gonna keep eating the way I've been eating and talking to God the way I've been talking to him girl so don't buy my pimples for some reason I kind of want to show them off it's like mm, 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 mm. but yeah and see this one is kind of healing and where else was it oh this one like I'm just like what's happening but I'm definitely going to make a updated skincare routine. Y'all, now that I'm thinking about it, you guys, I don't know if it was you specifically, but so many people enjoyed my hygiene, self-care, skincare videos. And I low-key forgot all about that era. And I need to bring that back because I'm still so into that kind of stuff. Like, I think I'm going to get back into that really, really soon. I actually have an upcoming video that I'm thinking of with something that I do want to incorporate specifically. So yeah, subscribe, you guys subscribe i feel like i don't say that a lot because i feel like if you want to subscribe i shouldn't have to say it like you'll just do it because you're gonna want to see my videos pop up on your feet but like i just feel like i should say it just because like just a little reminder like because i know a lot of y'all watch my videos and then you watch another one and then you watch another one and you watch another one and then you don't be hitting subscribe it's like after the second video you obviously want to see me right but anyway yeah subscribe to my channel so that you guys can see all these little videos i have in the works oh my gosh i have a whole list of video ideas that i want to do but it's just it's a lot it's a lot but it's fun y'all it's so freaking fun let me get off my tangent and show y'all these outfits this outfit that i'm planning you guys i want to wear with a bob right so here is not the staple piece necessarily but these are going to stand out with the rest of the fit they're just some cargo jeans and i'm wondering if i should take these to the cleaners y'all because when i bought them i had just noticed that my waist was like losing weight what do you what is it getting smaller my waist was getting smaller i needed some new pants but now girl it's getting even smaller i just ordered some new clothes from shein i'm definitely going to do a shein haul i have two of these i'm gonna try them on just to see how they fit because i need them to be long enough that if i put this other article of clothing i'm gonna show you on top I need it to be long enough to hang underneath that shirt, right? This is what I want to add on top. Sweater vest moment! Yeah. And then for the shoes, I want to do... Ooh, 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 I have not looked at the way this would match until right now. Y'all, tell me this ain't a perfect match. Like, this is close enough. Being on my foot and then this being on my stop playing with me but yeah these are my sneakers i always get so many compliments on these y'all they're right from Shein. like don't sleep don't sleep but um we have the sweater vest with the collared shirt all white 
and then we have this pop of color and I just like the color and the texture of this because obviously it's like cargo so it kind of is going to get baggy and like fill me out a little bit more I'm hoping the sweater vest is not too tight because I like again I want the kind of baggy look so that's why we're going to try this on and finalize this outfit before I can actually say this is what I'm wearing let's try her on Okay, so first thing is that this is pretty big like this is big girl i'm the queen these days of tying up a shirt like i will tie a shirt up sweet i would tie it up but i kind of wanted it to be baggy i have to like remember that i'm about to be wearing a different color wig a different cut see i like that better oh yeah i don't even really have to tie it the only thing about not tying it is that obviously i'm not gonna know if and when it shifts I think I should get a clip. Hold on, let me get a clip. Okay, all right. But y'all see, like, y'all see what I'm what I'm trying to do here? And then imagine my face beat, beat. Ooh, I like my little claw clip moment. Ew, ew. Okay, I kind of like these unbuttoned. I usually don't, but it's giving a little bit of flair for me. So the vision is have this on, the white coming out, and then my bob will kind of be. I think it comes like right under my ear like right here i want to put on gold jewelry because there's gold in this shoe so i'm gonna like stack gold necklaces hold on let's put on the shoe i kind of like this though i just i just want to be different like i'm not trying to dress like everybody like i was telling my mom this like my outfits be cute like if you go on my instagram feed girl i'll be i'll be putting it on but it's like basic after basic after basic after basic like no i want to be different so this is the wrong we're going toward and i love it and i love it oh yeah these sneakers go perfect with this fit the neutrals okay y'all look with the brown girl stop playing stop playing it's okay we don't gotta get all the angles now because you should be following me on Instagram to see the final product anyway. Like, duh. They not ready. I like this. We're making do with what we have here, okay? Like, but that's exactly why I ordered. I think I ordered three new pairs of pants. They're all kind of in the baggy family. Cargo, rip this dress. Like, it's in the same family, but I just need different colors, just different variations so I can start piecing more of the clothing that I already have to make more outfits with them and that's really the main thing i just needed some pants y'all will see next week when it comes in i'm gonna do a shein haul so next there is an outfit i want to try with a jacket it's giving like trench coat kind of situation but um but i'm a little bit nervous about it <laughs> because again it's outside of my comfort zone but i'm trying to enter that zone so that i can ultimately figure out what i actually like to wear opposed to wearing what everyone's wearing and like is the norm i need to do what i gotta do to get where i'm trying to go next thing that i want to style is this jacket i don't know if you want to call it a trench coat call it what you want what is this lizard print mind you i'm shopping in my mom's closet y'all i don't know where this came from i don't know how old it is but girl we done found a gem something different something out of my comfort zone yet i love it and i want it to become my comfort zone so we're gonna style her trench coat turtleneck vibe with some kind of like heel boot heel I, girl i don't know but that's kind of where my mind is going and so i have gray to wear under it because i want to do a contrast i don't really want to do a monochromatic look i don't want to do matchy matchy i want it to be kind of like different but i saw this turtleneck too when i was looking for the turtlenecks and this kind of goes but it doesn't it's like ah, you know this one looks like it will fit me like a dress so if that's the case i would try and find some high boots and ooh, hold on hold on just wait 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 Ooh, oh yeah she's sexy she's sexy period but as far as the top i really really like that i think i have some gym leggings in here see i have these these ones but they're kind of like darker but let's just see wait a minute oh 
I don't know, like I'm way past the skinny era. Like I like I'm not really into the skinniness anymore. But like I feel like if I have on something like this and I just put on some boots, maybe I could wear like actual stockings i don't know hold on let me get the boots i have like a high boot here and i also grabbed one that's like kind of short this is actually coming together cute like imagining my hair done in like black accessories like shades or like a black purse to tie in this black I definitely like the high boot better. Like this boot is kind of giving like leprechaun or like Peter Pan. This with the coat and the way like the coat cuts right here. And you can kind of see my tights, but you can't. I actually think I like this. The grays are a little bit two-tone, but I like it. I might have just put something together, y'all. Hold up. But on the other boot. Oh, I wish I could really see. I'm about to take y'all in the other room. The door in a turtleneck, please, please. So here's the coat. And then the form fitting sweater. What the what? Let me know if I should do gold jewelry or silver jewelry. With this bag, I think I should probably do gold because it has the gold on it. But bang. I want to base my next outfit idea on this. I saw this and I'm like, this is like blanket, sweater, scarf vibes. With this, it's a turtleneck too. It has the similar tan in it. I'm not sure what pants I would wear with this, but I think that the pants I would put on is coming in the mail. Turtleneck, baby. I feel like I'm gonna like half do the turtleneck, like try and pull it, pull it down like that first of all i think this is actually pretty huge so oh it's cut like this oh so it's like a poncho of some sort oh i can get down with this mm. <laughs> it's bigger than i thought now i might fold it up and just wear it however i want to wear it but this is like the idea. So I'm gonna figure out hacks and tricks and different options of how I could wear this. But you get the vibe, right? It's giving shawl. I want it to be effortless. Like I don't have to hold it, you know? But I also don't want it all the way just covering my body. I just want it to kind of just accent the fit. I don't want it to be the fit, so. Oh, even this is cute. Yeah. Distressed jeans. Again, some heels. Like maybe something like this. Okay. 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 Y'all let me know what kind of pants I should wear with this. But now I need to find an outfit for tomorrow. So let me see. So for tomorrow, I'm thinking about doing this. I have this top that I got from some company. FNA Styles. I actually got a bunch of clothes from them. I had so many summer clothes from them. But this was one top that I didn't wear in the summer, obviously. But now I finally get to wear it. It has these strings. And I don't remember how they tied it. But yeah. I'm gonna just freestyle it. So I'm thinking about wearing these. It's gonna be raining. So really the big debate is what I'm gonna do with my hair. Cause I have on a straight wig. I'm gonna have on a curly wig. It's so chill. Cause like whatever, like the curls are just gonna be chilling. But this, and then I have these boots from Tarjay. And I've been dying to wear them. And I think tomorrow is going to be the day. It's really just a matter of how they go with these jeans. I'm hoping they cover. Oh, they do cover. Oh, yeah. This is exactly how I imagine. See how they just go right over top real sleek? See, look. It goes right on top. Yeah, this is the fit. I don't even feel like trying no more. I just love how this is cut. Like, look at the stringy. I feel like if you wanted it to tie in the back, you could put it like that. But, and see, if I wear a hat, it's probably going to be like this kind of situation. You know? Can you feel the vibes? Either this or I'll bust out like a cap. Like a, you know, 
the baseball cap but yeah y'all my camera's about to die i'm gonna wrap this up and i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow i'll do all the things that you want me to do good morning my loves good morning <laughs> <laughs> what's today even that's how you know I'm relaxed. I don't even know what day it is. Today is Saturday. I woke up around 7.30, like naturally. I didn't set an alarm for myself today. I just woke up. I would say bright and early, but it wasn't a bright morning. It's been gloomy since I woke up, and I think it's gonna be that way all day. And by the time I head out, it's definitely going to be raining. It was something about the gloominess that made me want to look out the window as soon as I woke up, because I could tell the sunlight wasn't beaming through the blinds like usual and so i went and i looked out the window and the outside was just calling me like literally i immediately put on a hoodie some sweats and some crocs <laughs> and i took a walk like oh it was so good it was so good being in the crisp air it wasn't freezing but it wasn't warm somebody was doing laundry so the smell of the laundry was in the air and it's saturday morning so it was no kids walking out to the bus stop no cars pulling in and out of the parking spots it was just so peaceful i loved that i brought my tea with me and my little yeti cup baby that's how you start off a saturday morning then i came back inside and i showered and i had a parfait for breakfast a little bit of breakfast in bed you feel me i just feel so relaxed i've been laying in bed ever since then just chilling i have nothing major on my mind i have nowhere to be in a rush i'm just living but right now it's about 12 30 p.m we're starting off the afternoon i just wanted to fill you guys in on what i've been doing this morning and what i'm going to be doing later but before i get into what i'm doing later i just want to put this out there because my prime reason for my channel at least the way i have rebranded it is to just be me just to show what i want to show do what i want to do talk about about what's on my heart and just document it i'm not here to live for the vlog i'm vlogging the way i live there are gonna be some weeks where i'm just in the house and i'm cleaning up or i'm making a recipe or i'm watching movies with my mom just a fair warning this is not the exploration vacation every week arts and crafts and like no not all the time not all the time you know what i'm trying to say i'm all like arts and crafts <laughs> but you know what i'm trying to say like it's not always going to be a go 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 glitz and glamour showing things off you know no like i live a normal life just like you but i just so happen to want to share that i feel like i'm saying this just to remind myself and to tell myself that it is okay to just have a vlog where it's just you and i and nothing much else in the midst of that you know i don't have to go to the taj mahal and vlog it to have a good connection with y'all or to have whatever is considered good content good content starts here it starts with your intention it starts with your heart posture it starts with god's plan for you and the way he made you and how you use it okay before i get a little bit too sappy I just wanted to say that I'm here and you're here because this is my channel. So I'm going to do what I would naturally do and say what I would say. I'm not here to put on a show. It is what it is, just how it is. And I'm okay with that. So I should never feel bad for showing too much or not showing certain segments of my life. I started this channel because I want to do what I want to do creatively. So <laughs> if you love it, then you love it. If you don't, it's chat period but no and that's the beauty of it too because i've just always been trying to find my community so to think that i finally come around to this point in my life where i'm like oh okay like i'm just gonna share me and who i am raw and uncut and the people that are meant for me the people that resonate with me and what i have going on or the way that i think or dress or do my hair or my makeup whatever it is from my corny jokes to my spiritual thoughts that i speak to you guys all the time like the crowd is going to come i just posted something in my story the other day and it said something like dear creators as long as you are cultivating a beautiful garden the butterflies will come and i was like dang like period and that's real that just sums up exactly what i'm trying to say y'all this is my garden 
if you don't like what I'm planting, what's growing, what's blooming, what I'm picking, girl, the dough right there. But I know a lot of you are here for a reason and for a good reason. I'm so happy about that and grateful for that. And I love every single one of you who really tune into my videos. Y'all watch every week. You engage with my content. My engagement isn't there yet on YouTube, but just for my analytics, I see y'all. I see y'all. But just know that I see y'all. And because of that, show yourselves. Like, like the video. Comment. Say what's on your mind. If I did something funny, corny, or I really spoke to you, let me know. Because it lets me know what exactly I should keep showing or what I should show more of or what I should go in depth about. Yeah, I'm kind of on a tangent once again. But I just wanted to talk to you guys before I start the day. Because around 3 p.m. I'm going to meet up with Frank and we're just gonna have a day like honestly we never really finalized exactly what we wanted to do solely because it's gonna rain like i mentioned we went from pumpkin patch or like something really fall festive outside to maybe mini golf if it's not raining too hard or bowling which is obviously inside we definitely want to eat we're both foodies Ooh, i love me a good foodie to eat with <laughs> He went to this place called What the Fork in Philly a couple weeks ago and he said he wants to go back and I'm so down. So that's where we're gonna go to eat. And when I looked them up online and went on the website, they have hookah. And if you've been watching my videos, y'all know I be geeking for the hookah these days. I'm gonna get a hookah and I'm gonna get a drink. And I know he's gonna get a drink too. We're gonna be feeling good. I'm so excited just to hang. Obviously, I'm gonna take y'all with me. I'm gonna start getting ready. Let's go. Let's go. straight leg jeans then i got on my booty babies what are these called if you know what these kind of boots are called let me know because i'm curious
hanging with the sucker side. I know what I be on, so it ain't much for me to justify them. In the car, we just pulled up to South Bowl. We're about to go bowling. I'm really rusty. And Frank says he's rusty too. And that's okay, but we met a new friend at the bar. She was our bartender. She's about to cook us. She said she's pretty good. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm up for a challenge. So let's see what South Bowl here in Philly got in store for us. morning sunday morning it's around no it's not even the morning shoot what am i saying it's around 12 30 p.m right now and i just got back from church frank recommended a church to me his church i have not been to church and i do not know how long you guys it was a great way to get back into it i loved the ambiance I loved the pastor. I love that it's a more modest, growing church and not like a big mega church. You know what I'm saying? For it being almost three years old, you can just see how much time and effort and creativity that they put into the church. Everything was so well executed. So I just really enjoyed the experience overall. I want to go back. I want to go back. I will be back. When I tell you I left there, he was speaking to me. Like, he was really speaking to me. He was really preaching to wait on the Lord. And he made a big point about the way that we pray. Like, we be praying these soft, safe prayers. Oh, I pray that I make it to work safe. Oh, thank you for waking me up this morning. Like, yeah, that's cool. That's great. But do we realize who we're talking to we're talking to the most high 
the most able of all the most powerful god that there is and we just want to be sending out these soft safe prayers no pray like you mean it because in a way it seems obvious like we know how powerful god is we know how capable he is how able he is but we don't show that through the way we pray which means that we're not as faithful and reliant on the lord as we think that we are and that was just a real big wake-up call i'm like yeah i need to really start praying more strongly to grow in that faith to ground myself in that faith speak your heart speak your mind because at the end of the day god already knows he knows you better than you know yourself so why are you holding back from him i did not mean to get into all that i just wanted to tell you guys <laughs> that i went to church i'm so happy i'm so happy on top of the fact that last night boy when i say frank and i had a ball <laughs> yo like we had such a good time that's all i can say like and it was so cool because the bartender that we ended up meeting was so nice and adorable and inviting and she just added to the whole experience of being at what the fork where we went to go eat the food everything i showed you check 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 and i realized prior to us going i told y'all that they had hookah so i was plotting on a hookah when i told frank he was like okay bet and i'm like oh like you be smoking hookah he's like i mean i'm smoking hookah today that's why i was teaching him and kind of coaching him through like how to get a good pool how to get that cloud you know so that was just so fun it was so fun we were having such a good time that i was just under the impression we was going to go home i'm like all right bet this was a great night good eats good company good service we went bowling after and that was fun too ironically enough i won the first game he won the second game and then we tied at the end like we purposely bought three games so we could do best two out of three that was as fair as the game gets as a whole like making the best of everything and just being positive and happy go lucky it just makes for such a wonderful time yeah i just wanted to come on here and give y'all an update slash recap of last night and close out the vlog if you watched this far thank you so much i appreciate you to the moon and back just go ahead and subscribe if it feels right maybe only if it feels right share comment on this video it does so 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 much for my channel and my growth oh i always get so sad to say bye to y'all but i'll catch y'all next week i'll see y'all in the next video